Welcome back. Today we are making the best crab cakes in our Harry Cooper Supply kitchen. I'm so excited and I will tell you, I'm very sad that TJ's not gonna get to try this because we really needed his opinion. Since he's from Maryland, I'm just we'll saying. We'll save one for him, we'll freeze it. Okay, and I went to a lot of trouble on this chair because I wanted it to be the best crab cake. Now, it turns out uh, crab is very expensive right now, as you know. So I did try to make these with the first amount of crab that I got um, in a can, which I didn't know what that was gonna look like. It's very, very diced up. It looked, if I can say, I know it sounds bad. Um, say it. It's, it looked a little bit like cat food, so I thought, okay, I'm not gonna buy a full pound of crab, but I am gonna buy a half a pound of real crab. So I've got a mixture here. So this is, is the mixture of the canned and real. Right, exactly. Okay. And now the canned is real also. It's There's no imitation crab in oh, this whatsoever. Oh, fine. Yeah, so I just okay. think the texture is gonna be better if we had the real crab too. Okay. Now, Jeremy, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm going to start to put together some of the things and you will put together in a medium boil bowl the crab meat. Oh, the crab, okay. The Got panko it. and the parsley, and I will chop the parsley. You are gonna need, um, let's see, three-fourths cup breadcrumbs. Okay. And how much uh, lemon do you need? Um, you know, now let me just say this. Um, I used a different recipe when I did this this weekend. We wanna slice some of these for presentation. Okay. Yeah, okay. This recipe does not call, it's exact except for the lemon. But uh, how, how much do you think? Let's just do one little squirt of lemon in there. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break this. Can I use a spoon? You sure can. Here. What, wait, 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 wait. what do you need? I just wanna break up the crab oh, and mix yeah, it all yeah. together. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's get that all off. All right, so I'm gonna chop up the, the parsley. It calls for two tablespoons of parsley. And the ones I made were good, but I think these are gonna be even better because they have the real lump meat crab okay. in them. Perfect. So. Okay, I squeezed a lemon, okay. and now you said uh, three, three cups. Three fourths panko? cup panko, and then you're going to put the crab in. You've got that all three mixed up. Three fourths cup, not I'm three. I'm just kind of eyeballing the two tablespoons of our pressed parsley here. Okay, now guys, stupid question. Hold on, hold on. What's that? Hold the phone. I'm going to use three of these one fourths in. Is that okay? Oh, oh, here, Jeremy. I brought this. Oh, thank you. This is our little thank cup. You. There we go. We're good to go. Thank you. Three fourths cup. That does yes. make a difference. So two tablespoons of parsley right there, and one third cup mayo. I'm going to use that when you get done. Oops. You need the panko. No, I need the cup. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm... We just, uh, you know, our producer Charles found that cup for us last last week, which we didn't even know was there because we have lost somehow. We have who lost. Did, who found it? Charles found it. Who's that? Charlie. Oh, he's so new. I don't even know. <laughs> He's not here to be offended right now. Oh, he's not. I don't think so. Dad gum it. I know. It's, it's not fun making jokes about people. Is he people. up there? Charles is here. Oh, oh, good. Charles. See, that's the whole thing. Thank you, Charlie, for this cup. If I make fun of you to your face, that knows you know and I like you. you. Yeah, exactly. Because if I did it when he was and I knew he wasn't here, that's a different story. That's a different story. But I was hoping he was here. I didn't know that, so I should have double right. checked. I didn't see him, so I assumed he wasn't, but that is not correct. Well, he does hide from you, Cal, just so I know he does. I know. Is that one half? Look, I need mm. my glasses. One, that's one third. That's what, what I'm looking for. What do you need now? I'm sorry. One I was... third cup mm. mayo. Yep, that's what I've got. Okay, I've got the panko, the lemon, and the two kinds of crab. Okay, now if you just want to slice that lemon for presentation mm -hmm. on the when we put the Let crab cakes these, on the uh, plate. Seeds out of one here. Thing I Luckily, got... this only had six seeds total in this. Oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? So, now I'm going to do one large egg beaten. We'll put that together with this. Just beat it, beat it. Ch -ch just beat it. Ch -ch -ch. All right. By the way, can I ask our sound engineer, Jeff Cotner, to play a song for me? Sure. I, I heard it he this weekend. It's a TV theme song, but I don't know why. It just seemed like a fun song. It's the whole version of the TV theme song from the TV show Alice. Starring oh. Linda Lavin. Oh, I love that show. We had seen a picture of that, remember? Yeah, we did. Then and all of a flow. sudden, yes, at the the song came on. Something like suggested pose. I'm like, I forgot how much I like that theme song, and I think Linda Lavin sang it. Could we hear that? I just Could thought it might be fun that? for you. I, I'd I mean, like to hear it. Whenever you want to play it, sir. Sure, Jeff. I mean, we're just mixing ingredients. All right, so Jeremy, now I'm going to add the Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of that. Uh, pardon me, Kelly. Yes. You have new gray poupon. I sure do. Oh, thank you. Would you like some? Thank you. <laughs> two tablespoons. Yes. Is this enough lemon slices for presentation, or do you, you need say more? Tables tablespoons. Wait. Wait. Oh, look at this. Listen to this, Kyle. Early to bed. And in between, I cooked and cleaned and went out of my head. Does that 
really? Not really. It will. Hold on. I just always remember, kiss my grits. That was Alice's line. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I think that spoon didn't fit down in here very well, and I think I, that's why I made such a mess. So how much were you supposed to add? Two tablespoons, oh. I got it. All right then. I've got four wedges. Two four. tablespoons, and then you're gonna like this. What? One half teaspoon of hot sauce. Done and done. Done and done. When I when I heard that, I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds like, like Jeremy, one, let's see. One half teaspoon hot sauce, half yes. Teaspoon. Is this a teaspoon? I think yeah, I'm just gonna do a half of that. I think there's a half just in there. Just because I've though. got it. Okay. Just because it's. Well, if you do more, I'm not gonna be mad at it. So. Okay. All right. Now, do we have to combine these? Yes. Oh, perfect. We do. And let's see what else am I missing? Uh, with on yours, Jeremy, yeah. you're supposed to add. Um, no, it's all in mine. The um, salt and pepper and Worcestershire goes in here, and then we will put them together. Okay, so what else do you have left to put in there? Worcestershire and salt and pepper. Are we gonna do that when we come back? Yeah. There? Okay, hey, when we come back, guys, we'll be assembling our best crab cakes ever in the world in the history of the universe. Right after this. Yes. Is that right? Yes, I, that think so. I think that's exactly right.